Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at another pen by Opus 88. Very popular pens, nice pens. Uh, I think people have a thing for these because they are relatively affordable, they are quite nice and they have a one-way shut-off valve, which is an interesting filling system which I can actually sort of show you on this pen because it is a clear pen. Uh, clearish at uh, anyway. So this pen was sent to me by Pen Chalet. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I uh, Pen Chalet sells them currently for ninety nine dollars. So just so you know, and this is the Opus eighty eight Picnic model, which is available in a couple of colors, and they're kind of nice. And they have the cool filling system, and and they have steel nibs, and they are sort of affordable. I mean, it's not a super inexpensive pen, but I mean, as pens go, it's not terrible either. So let's get cracking. I am going to show you the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample and then I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay, so here we go with the Opus 88 Picnic. Recently someone commented in one of my videos that I am an extremely rude idiot for throwing around these things because people give me these pens and the only reason I throw it around is that I get all my pens as gifts. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. These types of comments really mean a lot to me. Now, having said that, let's open the box and see what's in there. Opus 88, fine writing instruments, since 1977. The year Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope was launched. Just saying. Okay, giant nerds, we continue. I said nerds, but I meant nerd. I wasn't trying to talk to you, I'm very sorry. You have this beautiful, you have this nice little paper thing, right, which gives you instructions on how to fill the pen, which in this case is actually not so bad. What the heck is that? So, um, because it's not necessarily that easy if you've never done it, okay? Coloro, Opus 88 Coloro, uh, Taiwanese brand, interesting uh, pen, so I'm kind of excited to show you this. Little magnetic closure, I like that. And here we have the pen. Also in the box is an eyedropper. What happened to this eyedropper? No clue. It was in there and all of a sudden it was gone. I must have misplaced it, but look at any of my other Opus 88 reviews and you will see the eyedropper. It's just a little glass eyedropper. It's, it's cute and it's useful. Okay, here we have this pen. This is the Opus 88 Picnic, uh, made of translucent resin. You can get them in a couple of colors. This is the purple color. I'm going to zoom in in just a second, but not quite yet. You have a steel nib, which is available in fine, medium, or broad, and you have four color finishes. Um, and as I said, at, at the moment, Pen Chalet has them for $99. Now, what's this whole one-way shutter valve about before I get into the parts of the pen? It's quite simple. To ink up this pen, you unscrew the section, take it off, take the eyedropper, take a bottle of ink, and put drops of ink into the barrel. This part you see here, that is that shut-off valve. So, if everything is in the closed position, um, the ink gets trapped right there. If you start to turn this bit near the end, you open up. You saw a little air bubble there. You op There you go, big bubble. You open up the chamber, ink can flow freely into the section, and the flow of the pen gets a little wetter. If you leave it closed and you write with it, at some point the pen will run dry because the little ink chamber there doesn't have any ink in it because the ink has been shut off by the one-way shut-off valve. Very good. So this, this is how it works. Now the nice thing is, this system is really quite interesting because you have a large ink capacity and typically you don't really have a lot of burping because as you write you can close this you can write for quite a bit until you run out of ink and then you open it up and a little bit more ink flows in but with a lot of eyedroppers the, the heat from your hand causes the air bubble inside to expand and the pen burps ink onto the page and i haven't really had that this much with this type of pen now the fun thing about the one-way shut-off valve is that it's a... I always think of it as a very Japanese system because a lot of Japanese pens have that system. I'm thinking, for example, of the um, the uh, uh, Namiki Emperor. There's a bunch of Denitrios, which I guess, strictly speaking, are American pens because the gentleman making them is actually in the US, I think, but they're very Japanese in style with the lacquer with the system. But for those types of pens, you typically pay a whole lot. And this is relatively affordable at, in this case, $100. So let's have a look at this pen. 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit, but before I do that, I want to show you this pen next to a Lamy Safari. So as you can see, it's kind of similar in size. It's uh, not a super small pen, it's not massive either. So there you have that. Now let me zoom in a bit. Ooh, wrong way around. There we go. Let's cover the parts. Top of the pen, same color as the cap, slightly translucent. Uh, it's relatively bright out today, so you actually may be able to see that a bit. Cap is kind of cloudy but transparent, so you can actually see the nib on the inside. Here we have the clip, simple clip, and Opus 88. There you have that one-way actual shut-off valve with its piston rod. Uh, it goes back in there and that bit unscrews. Again, transparent resin. Cap unscrews, and for those of you who find that interesting, it's about a full turn, uh, I think. Let me try that again. No, it's a little more. I didn't have it closed. Okay, so one, about two turns. Okay, that's not terrible. I've seen worse. We have the section, tapers down, flares out a little bit, and then we have the steel nib, in this case, the fine, um, looks like Yovo nib. Okay, so they have that. Uh, it says Opus 88, it says F for fine. I always like it when a nib is marked, then you know what you have. Uh, and we have a simple plastic feed. And they have it. Okay, let's do some writing. I have to zoom out a little bit for that. There we go. Yeah, it's a little dry. I was waving it around. Usually it starts up straight away. Opus 88, uh, and this is the picnic. That is, of course, an issue with the shutoff valve. You can actually make your pen run dry if you don't open it up. So now it's just opened up a little bit. You see there wasn't a whole lot of fiddling around. It picked up pretty quickly. Uh, the nib is steel fine, sorry, and the ink is um, uh, Girls Just Wanna from um, Opus 88 because it seemed to sort of match purple, pink, etc. Yeah, fast writing. Um, although the pen writes properly, even with the valve open, jumps the over the lazy dog. This doesn't make any sense in English, but it doesn't matter. Fast writing, you see the pen holds up fairly well. Bit of a skip there. And what I was trying to say was, I have found it a little bit on the dry side. You can see that there as well. Okay, line variation, as always, very, very careful when you do this. There is a bit of spring to it, but as always, be very careful, it's not a flex nib. Reverse writing, if you want to do that, you can't, because the nib gets too dry and does not write, as you can see. So, reverse writing is not a possibility. Okay, we need to discuss what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And we're going to do that right now. Okay, what do I like? What do I like? What do I like? <laughs> I'm Robert De Niro. Um, okay, what do I like about this pen? The Opus 88 Picnic. Well, I think it has a couple of things going for it. And yes, I have a list. And yes, I'm going to go through it. And yes, I will look down once in a while. I think these pens, to be honest, have a lot going for them. Nice colors, cute pens, good size, not too small, not too big. If you want to, you can post it, has a nice clip, works well. I think it's quite nice, especially given the price. The fact you can buy this for about 100 bucks, I know that is not extremely cheap. I know you can also buy a Jin Hao for 75 cents. Or one. I, I understand all of that, but the thing is, that will be a different type of pen. One-way shot of valve, large ink capacity, well-made pen, pen that won't fall apart, uh, at least not that I know of, I haven't heard anything about it with Opus 88, uh, is quite nice. They're well-made, tolerances are good, there are, no, there are no big gaps that I can see or anything that's weird. It works well, it comes as a complete set, it comes with everything you need except for ink, right? You, you have the little eyedropper, you have the pen, you have, so it's kind of cool. The filling system is nice, people like that. Um, the one-way shut-off valve, it works well. 
especially on a clear pen, it's quite cool because I have one on a Miki Falcon, I have one on a Genkai, uh, which is the Nitrio, but they're not transparent pens. So here you can actually see the system and it's cool. It's, it's just a cool, neat system. So that's fine. I like that. I like that there is a range of colors. Uh, I think there are four color finishes available right now, which is not bad at all. This is nice purple. It's, it's, I find it quite warm. It's just the right level of cloudiness. It's not too... Like, I, I like a really transparent pen. Some people like a bit more cloudy. It's, it's cloudy enough that it's not completely clear but it's clear enough that you can see everything on the inside. So I think it's a very nice balance they struck. Things I don't like so much. Well, I think this would look really cool with a number six size nib, which is what I have here. I think that would look really good. You see these pens are about the same size, but this Visconti at the bottom has a number six nib, and I think it would look good. A lot of fountain pen users like a slight, slightly bigger nib. So there is that. Um, I found this nib to be a little on the dry side, uh, so it would not be horrid to me if it was a little wetter, but that's of course personal preference. In all, and that's the bottom line, I think it's a pretty sweet deal. About a hundred bucks, nice filling system, large ink capacity, a nib that writes because it was not so dry that it was unusable. I have experienced that too in pens. This was definitely usable, it's just maybe a bit on the dry side. As I said, cool filling system, big ink capacity, nice colors, it comes with eyedropper and all. I think it's pretty sweet. So, I like it. I think it's a cute pen, cool pen, fun pen. We also make for a nice gift because it's such a complete package. Opus 88, keep doing what you're doing because I like it. Guys, I hope this was useful. Pen Chalet, thank you for sending over the pen to review. As always, that is uh, very nice. Uh, I hope. This was useful to everyone, and of course, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.